Wow, you're such a nerd. Science is so boring. Joke's on you guys. I'm getting paid to burn things, so shut up. Now, if you're like me and ocularly challenged, you always wonder what you're missing when you see fire. I love fire. I'm the type of person to sit and stoke the campfire while everyone else is playing spike ball or something. Just a disclaimer, these chemicals are relatively harmless, but avoid breathing in their fumes as they burn. Do this in a ventilated area to avoid any potential injury. The experiment is pretty simple. We'll be using around 0.5 grams of a few different chemicals, each of them having a different colored flame. We'll be using a few common salts like calcium chloride, boric acid, strontium chloride, potassium chloride, copper 2 sulfate, and lithium chloride. Some of these react better to denatured alcohol, some of them react better to methanol, but on hand I have isopropyl alcohol, so that's what I used. Let's start with what is actually happening in the science here. So, basically, when these salts are heated in a flame, the heat excites the electrons in the atoms of the salt. This causes the electrons to jump to higher energy levels. Electrons, they don't like staying in those excited states. They want to go back to their lower, more stable energy levels. As they do, they release energy in the form of light. The color of the light that it emits depends on the amount of energy that the electrons release when they return to those lower energy levels. So, let's start with calcium chloride. As you can see, it is a very intense orange-red hue. Next up we have boric acid. When the boron is heated in the flame, it creates a stunning green color. Next up, we have lithium chloride. As you can see, when the lithium chloride is heated, it gives off this deep crimson red flame. Similar to strontium, but a little bit different. Next up, we have copper 2 sulfate. You can use a Bunsen burner for every one of these chemicals. Some of them are easier to see inside of the crucibles, but some of them are easier to see in the flame of the Bunsen burner. So, as you can see, when the copper 2 sulfate is heated, uh, in the flame, it turns the Bunsen burner's regular flame of orangish, bluish, to this deep green color. Now let's heat up some strontium chloride. As you can see, when the strontium is heated, uh, it turns into this deep red color. It is a lot more intense than the orange that we saw from the calcium chloride. Next up we have potassium chloride. Uh, when this one is burned, we can see a lilac light purple flame. While it technically isn't a chemical, like a, a regular raw chemical, I, in a previous video, actually burnt a little piece of magnesium. I thought it'd be cool to get into the nitty gritty of what exactly was happening with magnesium. As you can see, when the magnesium is burned, it produces this really blinding white light. I still have the little residue in my eye from the light. So basically what is happening in this reaction is the magnesium is burning and reacting with the oxygen in the air. As the reaction happens, it is an exothermic reaction. Exothermic just means that the reaction produces energy. It, it gives off energy. In this reaction, the magnesium reacts with the oxygen and it bonds with the oxygen, creating magnesium oxide, but it also gives off energy. This energy is in the form of light, the photons that we see, and it's just blinding white, sun-like light. I hope you guys enjoyed the deep dive into flame chemistry. Let me know which color was your favorite in the comments below. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe if you learned something new today. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.